Hello everyone and welcome back. If this is your first time, I hope you'll stay. Espero que te quedes. Now today we're looking at palabras compuestas. So the words that has perhaps a single word meaning in English but they in Spanish is two words joined together. So two words or more joined together. So this is my list of palabras compuestas in Spanish that I absolutely love. Now let's begin with the first one. Okay? You ready? Um, so for you, Santiamen. How would you use Santiamen? Um, llegó en un Santiamen. Le llamé y llegó en un Santiamen. Un Santiamen is um, straight away. Um, with the drop of a hat, uh, in no time at all. Un santi, amen. So it's the word santi, I think it comes from santo, which is saint, and then amen, which is amen, amen, like, amen, when you finish your present, amen. Okay, santi, amen. Next one for you, quita sueños. Now if you celebrate, celebrate, if you separate the two words, you have Quita, which is the takeaway, and sueños, which is sleep. Um, it means worry. It's a problem. Uh, so if I was to say, Esto me está volviendo en un quita sueños. This is becoming a worry. This is becoming a problem. Okay? Quita sueños. Next, agridulce. Agridulce um, can refer to the flavor, it's sweet and sour. I love sweet and sour chicken. Or it could be more... Um, figuratively speaking, so you could say, Oof, it's a bittersweet moment, it's a bittersweet moment, it's, a, it's un momento agridulce, okay? Hierba buena, you separate it and you got herb and good, and it's actually mint, the plant, peppermint, tengo una, una hierba buena en mi casa, huele fenomenal, so I have a mint plant in my house it smells fabulous here is one I use a lot agua fiestas you have agua water and fiestas party and it just means a spoiled sports you're no fun at all it is un agua fiestas if you're from the city city of New York you'll love this one rasca cielos rasca which is to scratch and cielos which is heaven or sky. So rascacielos refers to skyscrapers. I bet you knew that one. Okay, this one I've put on the list just because it sounds really funny. Teje maneje. I have a friend that uses this a lot and it just means a mess. So tejer is to knit, like you know, to weave something together and Maneje, I suppose it comes from manejar, which is to manage. So teje maneje is when you're in a situation that you're trying to reach some sort of um, end um, or some sort of solution, but it's just a mess. Teje maneje. Vaya tener teje maneje en que te has uh, metido. I bet you know this one. Boqui abierta. The boqui part comes from mouth and then abierto comes from mouth. Me quedé boqui abierta. Wide mouth means astonished. You were literally stood there with your mouth like that. In astonishment. This one you might have seen. Guarda espaldas. Guarda espaldas means a bodyguard. Guardar to save or to keep or to look after. To, to, I, I would say to keep more um you, you use guarda more to keep yes and espaldas back so you're watching somebody's back a bodyguard guarda espaldas this for the all the girls who love to polish their nails will come in quite handy quita esmalte quita esmalte um is nail varnish quitar which is to take off and esmalte varnish nail varnish nail varnish remover this one I love. 
Quita miedos. You separate it and you get quitar to take off miedos, which is fear. So to take off your fear, and it's literally a handrail. So something you would hold on to um, if you're going upstairs, for instance, and it's, it just makes you feel a little bit more secure. Or it's also a crash barrier that you might see in some um, streets. So um, if your car crashes into it, it sort of um, keeps it on the road. So crash barrier or a handrail. Don't you love that one? Okay, milojas. <laughs> if you separate it, you get a thousand, which is mil, and hojas, which is sheet. This is actually a French word, and it's a pastry. It's a puff pastry, just very airy and very soft. And I, I suppose we would pronounce it as milfoy. Okay, milfoy. We're not French. We don't pronounce properly. So it's a puff pastry. And if you love cakes, you will have seen this word. Love this. It's summer. Flies are everywhere. I use this a lot. Mata moscas. I'm always running around like a crazy person with un mata moscas. You separate it and you get matar, which is to kill, and moscas, fly. And this is just a fly swatter. This next one, bayuen. Bayuen is sort of like go and come. And it just means ups and downs. Or it also can mean a swaying movement as well. Bayuen. Okay. Feji junto. Now, I've mentioned this word before in a previous video, and so if you've been following for a while, you would, well, you will recognize this word. Feji junto. Can you remember what it is? Feji, these are fejas, your brow. Junto, which is juntar, to be together. So, feji junto is a unibrow. Mi novio es junto. So my bra my boyfriend has a unibrow. One of my absolute favorites. This actually has more than two words. Sabe lo todo. Es un sabe lo todo. Tu hermano es un sabe lo todo. Siempre está contestando. So your brother is a know it all. He's always replying to everything. Sabe to know lo it todo. All and know it all. Un sabe lo todo. <laughs> right, I don't know why I find this one funny and why I've stuck it on, but here you go. Un pela patata. <laughs> it just sounds funny. Un pela patata. ¿Qué es un pela patata? Separate it and it's very easy. Pela, which is to, to peel, and patata, which is potato. Potato? <laughs> potato. So, Bella Patata is a potato peeler. En mi cocina, tengo dos Bella Patatas. In my kitchen, I have two potato peelers. Don't ask me why. I just have. Now, uh, with that, I'm going to end the class. And I hope you will walk away today with at least one new word in Spanish. So, this is my list of 20 palabras compuestas en español. Now, do not forget to subscribe if you've not already subscribed to this channel and I will see you in the next video. Dios.